Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another video. I want to start by wishing you all a very happy new year. 2022 has arrived, the best Gar age of Star Wars has begun. We've got so much amazing Star Wars content this year, chapters 2 to 7 of The Book of Boba Fett, The Bad Batch Season 2, Obi-Wan Kenobi which is the big highlight, the Andor series and hopefully the start of The Mandalorian Season 3 if the release date is in December as The Book of Boba Fett was. I can't wait for all of it and I'll be covering absolutely everything right here on my channel. But with that said, let's dive into today's topic. When Max Rebo appeared in The Book of Boba Fett Chapter 1, it brought the biggest smile to my face. Not only was it confirmation that he survived Jabba's cell barge explosion in Return of the Jedi, but as we see, he's still performing music and getting gigs, albeit without Sy Snootles and the rest of the Max Rebo band, but he's alive and happy. Now this is the second character we've seen on screen confirmed to have survived the wreckage of Jabba's luxury barge. The other of course being Bib Fortuna, there were other survivors too including Yak Face, Droopy McCool, Sy Snootles and Salacious Crumb whose death was recently removed from the Star Wars databank, hinting at a possible return in this series or another future project. So the main question is, how did Max Rebo and all of these other characters survive what looked to be the unsurvivable? Well simply put my dear friends, we don't have a canon answer just yet. But believe it or not, Star Wars confirmed Max Rebo's survival in a canon book three years ago in the build up to the rise of Skywalker. In the Star Wars character encyclopedia, a throwaway sentence tells us that Max Rebo along with bandmates Sy Snootles and Droopy McCall survived the cell barge explosion. They then broke up the band but each of them continued playing music individually. Given that back in 2019, there wasn't any major discourse in the fandom about these characters leading up to the Mandalorian and of course the rise of Skywalker, no one was really talking about them. But now that we're dealing with the aftermath of Return of the Jedi in the Book of Boba Fett, with familiar faces popping up right, left and center, it's a good time to bring up that Max Rebo's survival has been confirmed for quite some time. So how did he survive? Well, a legend's answer might have to suffice until Lucasfilm, either in an episode guide or a future book reveal the true story. And the legend's answer has to do with Bib Fortuna. According to Tales from Jabba's Palace, a 1996 legends book, Bib Fortuna survived the cell barge by escaping on a private skiff. When he saw Luke Skywalker ignite his lightsaber and the following debacle with Han and Chewie and how easily Jabba's guards were being taken out, Fortuna knew this was not going to end well. Amongst the chaos, quick thinking meant he got away on a private skiff. He then travelled back to Jabba's palace with the intent of taking over Jabba's rulership, something he had been conspiring for a long time. Now even though it's not explicitly mentioned, it's reasonable to assume that other characters may have jumped aboard the skiff with him. Among these being Max Rebo. Bib Fortuna may have been willing to bring Max and the other musicians with him to Jabba's palace, probably to keep them as entertainers just as Jabba did. And so then following Boba and Fennec's takeover of the palace and the death of a blubbergumptious Bib Fortuna, Max Rebo and his bandmates were free. And even though they broke up the band, Max Rebo still continued to play music, eventually partnering up with a Bith guitarist, maybe a former member of the Modal Nodes, and the two got a gig as regulars at Garth of Whip's Sanctuary. All's well that ends well. As I say my dear friends, that is the likely answer, but until Lucasfilm confirm it in canon, we simply have to rely on legends. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, if you did please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and a huge welcome if you are, but otherwise, may the force be with you all, I'm Star Wars Meg and I'll see you in the next one.